Hello everybody, I'm back again with another video. My name is Lucci. I'm here with my German Shepherd Rocco. Rocco is two years old. Rocco actually was not really kennel trained. Um, I'm actually, kennel training is a hard thing to do. A lot of people kennel train their dogs the wrong way. They teach their dogs actually to hate the kennel without knowing it. And the kennel, when you use the kennel the wrong way, you actually teach dog anxiety, puppy anxiety. And people wonder why their dogs have puppy anxiety and dog anxiety. It's actually because of the crate. And it's actually something you have done with the crate. Most owners of puppies and dogs, think about it. You have a puppy or dog, the first place you put him in the crate, and the reason you put him in the crate or the kennel at your home is because you're leaving the house for hours at a time. So at a very young age, he's learning that Oh wow, when I go in this crate by myself, no one's here and I'm going to be here for hours at a time. And we all know animals have a sense of time. We don't know how they actually know their time, but we know they have a sense of time. So he learns to hate the crate because he learns that he's going to be by himself, he's going to be alone. And the reason that they hate this also is a puppy. In the puppy stage, they're born with a litter. All dogs in the very beginning are pack animals, just like their cousins are the wolves. They want to be in a pack. They want to be. They want to be with other people. That's why they cling to you when they're so young. And uh, he just hit the. He's getting tired. He just hit the string. It's obstacle course. That's in another video. My obstacle courses. I do. You have to check that out later. Um, and I do that with rope and string. It's a really good idea. But <clears throat> they're 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 in packs and they're pack animals. And as adults and as people. We teach ourselves separation. As we get older and older, the kids go to daycare, the kids go to school. It's a separation process. But animals by nature, especially dogs and wolves, are pack animals. So you're putting them in the kennel, and the only time you're putting them in the kennel is when you're going to work and he's being in there for hours. Or the other negative time you're putting him in the kennel, which is really bad, is when he's being punished. So you associate his kennel as not a safe place. So you, you've taken the kennel where you're trying to make it something that he would like and you're giving him the negativity of the reasons why he goes to the kennel and not the positive reasons why he goes to the kennel. Positive reasons to put him in the kennel and teach him, put toys in the kennel. Always a good thing. Another thing to do to help with anxiety because maybe you've done this the wrong way is take one of your t-shirts. <laughs> My wife got me this t-shirt. Take one of your t-shirts and put your t-shirt on top of him on his body. When I mean by top of him, actually put him inside a t-shirt. You put him in a t-shirt with your smell, that will take him and make him feel a little more comfortable. So, again, my reason against the kennel training is a lot of people are using it the wrong way. It's supposed to be his den. It's supposed to be his safe haven, not his punishing haven. And again, most people, they use the crate as a way to punish, and they don't even realize they're punishing it because you're leaving the house so long. Now, my big problem I had with him, and a lot of you will have this problem if you have German Shepherds. German Shepherds are super smart dogs. They can learn up to 150 words if you research your German Shepherd enough. At 10 weeks, he already learned how to pop the kennel open. I would come home and somehow, some way, he would greet me at the back door and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And we're not gone. There's always someone home at the house within the first three to four hours. The dog was never gone, never by himself that long. But I would come home Sometimes within two hours, he'd greet me at the door and I thought my wife left him out and he would actually pop the kennel open. So the thing to do with that is you take your kennel, you turn the door towards the wall of the house, of the kennel that opens up, put a blanket over it so it's dark, and hopefully that will help. Um, that's what I had to do, but again, as he started getting bigger and smarter, he started understanding how to get out the kennel and it was a problem. But try to use your kennel in the right way. Make it a safe haven, leave the door open, so that he goes in, put squeaky toys in there, feed him his treats in there. Some of the things you can do when you get a treat, call him to the kennel, give him a treat. But don't force him in the kennel. You can toss something in the kennel so that you can make him play fetch that way. And this will help you out. Uh, creating kennel training again, if you're doing it wrong, remember, you're building dog anxiety. And dog anxiety is a very hard thing to break when you do it that way. And you're gonna have a negative situation object is to make your dog like the kennel. 
I have other videos. I talk about puppy teething. I talk about making obstacle course for dogs. I talk about how owners are building and causing their dogs to have arthritis and hip dysplasia, something that they're doing wrong, which is really a horrible thing that people don't realize, but their dogs are getting. I also talk about some preventive medicines as far as herbal medicines for your dog to take for those things. If you like my videos, please subscribe, please hit the like button. I love comments, hit me back with plenty of comments because people will do ask me different questions and it inspires me to make another video of what people are looking for. I thank you for your time. Again, my name is Lucci. My German Shepherd down there is Rock a Rock and he's two years old. You guys have a great day.